Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, you want to come in with another battle replay here, but this is not just a regular battle replay. Welcome back to the Land of Sieges. Just wanted to throw that in there. Uh, but this is one of the battles from the Total War League Siege Tournament that is going that is currently going on. Uh, it is hosted by Marketable Skills. It is a 2v2 siege tournament, as far as I am aware. Uh, I believe it is on medium-sized settlements, because I did not want the defenders to have at least wall artillery. I don't remember off the top of my head if the defenders can bring uh, ground artillery. But I will put the link in the description for the Marketable's Discord, so you guys can get on over there if you'd like. Maybe get involved in future tournaments, and... Uh, Pretty sure this is the town center on medium size. I don't think it's all the way back here, but it could be. It could be. I've never played the settlement on medium size, so I don't really know. Uh, but yeah. All right. Let's take a look at the factions. We do see actually two of the defendant. Cool. So all right. We have an Armenia here being commanded by Hyena. And then over there, we do have a Chimera being commanded by uh, Dare. And the defenders are the Guerrilla Warfare. That is the name of the defending team. And then for the attackers, we do have the Butcher Boys. And let's take a look. We have an Empress here being commanded by Dade2330. Two, two, three, three, and he has brought seven units of Illyrian levies, three Royal Peltas, one of those being his general, two Thoreo Spears, two Samnite Warriors, two Cretan Archers, two regular Archers, one Thessalian Cavalry, and he did bring a giant Ballista. And then we have a Nabatea being commanded by Wombat. And he has brought four units of the Armored Desert Hoplites, four Axe Warriors, four Nabataean Swordsmen. General is a Nabataean Noble Cavalry General. That's a joke that's been going on for a while now. Uh, he also has brought with him one unit of the Heavy Lancers. Yeah, Desert Heavy Lancers. And he does have the four... Let's, see, let's just double check and make sure. Four units of the Nabataean Heavy Archers. So, all right, there you go. Army compositions out of the way. Tortoise is still pressing up. We have a Nabataean Tower that has dropped onto the wall. We have some more Step Lancers right there for Chimera. We do also have some Axemen right there for Armenia. Uh, Eastern Spearmen. Something else was just right there. Something else was right here. I think that might have been another Axemen unit. Oh, yep. Okay. Cartleys. Axemen. Cartley. Uh, Axemen. Chimera Noble. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Three. Four units of Chimera Noble Infantry. Ooh, that's scary. Uh, some of the Chimerian Heavy Archers right there, so good stuff. Strong army. Strong army right there so far from what I've seen from the defenders. Definitely some pretty strong armies. Carly Axemen are pretty good. Those Chimerian Noble Infantry is definitely really good. All right, let's get in on some of the wall fighting here. So we got some brutality going on up there. We do have some walls. Ooh, somebody's going to die. Ease of spam, and these guys are going to go flying. Let's wait. What's the wall at? 46? Dang. Thought it was going to be a little bit higher than that. Well, we can see some of the eastern archers over here. We actually have the noble spearman general right there. But, oh, God, it's coming. It's coming. 93. Where are they? Oh, God. They just barely saw them in the dust right there. They just went flying. Dead. Oh, that's got to hurt. That <laughs> probably hurt for about a half a second. All right. Uh, don't know where that cavalry... Oh, there he is. There he is. Step Lancers. Step Lancers. The other unit, I guess, pulled away. Yeah, it looks like he moved back. Okay. So we got some archer fire now coming. We have some of the eastern archers there of Armenia starting to fire. Some regular cartly... Um, regular axemen. Sorry, I almost called them cartly axemen. Regular axemen coming up. We have some more eastern archers over there firing, just blasting down into these Illyrian levies, having a really tough time, still trying to knock this wall down, but I don't know. I don't know. They're wavering. Oh, they did get it down. Wow, barely. Barely got it down, because I think this volley's going to route them. Yep, there they go. Woof. 
Sometimes it's about timing, guys. Sometimes it's about timing. Uh, let's see. We have some more Lyrian levies over here. We got some Step Spearmen, some Mare Chim Oh, my God. More Chimerian Noble Infantry. Wow. Looks like he brought like five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's got five so far that we can see. I have a feeling maybe he's got like one more in there somewhere. But all right. Walls are definitely becoming some Swiss cheese action here. And the attackers definitely have many, many, many uh, avenues that they can go to try and get into the settlement. But this is going to definitely be a tough one. Got Carly Axman moving up. Probably going to move right up over here to get some Javelin Volleys. We already have an Axman unit right there. So if there's any levies around, if they still have any more Illyrian levies, definitely want to toss them in there. And just let them soak up as many Javelins as possible. Regular Axman going to come on over here, take on this levy unit. That is going to be a washout. Axman is going to murder them. Yeah, 36, 26, 49, 75. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Two of these units are going to get murdered. If this wall comes down... Oh, shoot it. Shoot the wall. Where's the artillery? There it is. Please shoot the wall. Shoot the wall. It'll make a bigger breach. You'll probably lose a lot of Illyrian levies, but it'll make a bigger breach. Oh, I don't think he's going to shoot over there. Oh, that's a bit of a missed opportunity because that would make a gigantic breach. Huge breach right there would happen. But all right, over here we got some of the Carly Axman falling back. Another unit of Carly Axman have moved forward. Nabatine Swordsman, pretty okay unit. Nabatine Swordsman are good. I would say they're, like, obviously on the low end of mid-tier. Eh, mid, mid to mid-tier, somewhere in there. They're okay. I've seen Nabatine Swordsman do really well. I'll say it like that. I'll say it simply and plainly. I have seen Nabatine Swordsman do rather well before. So, two, three hundred kills which I wouldn't expect him to get that many kills, but I have seen it before. But the amount of javelins that are literally just plowing into that unit of Nabateen Swordsman. All right, we got some more Nabateen Swordsman coming in, charging in onto these Carly Axemen, but unfortunately, they are about to get outflanked. We have some more Levian Levies coming in, though, but Levian Levies is going to take on these Carly Axemen. It's just not really going to do a whole lot, but we do have archers that have moved forward. Okay, so we got some regular archers there. The Cretan's still sitting back. Three of the Nabataean heavy... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's the fourth one. He's going to start moving forward. Still got levies over here. Getting off that tortoise. Going to start making their way in here. But that, that is just a fight they don't want. Camerian Noble Infantry. I mean, maybe the levy versus the Step Spearman. That might actually be kind of like a close fight for the for the Lyrian levies. Um, but not against that Noble Infantry. Camerian Noble Infantry is going to murder them. All right, back over on this side, though, we have some more Nabataean forces making their way in. Axe warriors charging in, frenzy charge, getting into these two units of Carly Axemen. Second unit going to make his way over here into this regular unit of Axemen. Cavalry's still rumbling around out here. Okay, so they brought the Thessalian over on this side. Step Lancer's still just hanging out over there. Looking for an opportunity, I think. Have your Lancer sitting right there. I'm just trying to keep an eye on all the cavalry and everything. So far, this has been a really rough attack, though. I will definitely say that. Uh, it's just the, the strength of the Noble Infantry right there. And the Cartleys. I mean, Cartley Axemen are really good. I feel like they're really good. Maybe there's a lot of other people that would you know, differ with me on opinion or whatever, but I, I, I think the Carly Axemen are pretty strong. Uh, especially, like, Nabataeans here. I mean, the Nabataean Axe Warriors, let's see, 3, 11. Yeah, they're just having a rough time. Really rough time. Now, here we go. We got some Sam Knight Warriors making their way up. Sam Knight's against these Carly Axemen, especially with the depleted Carly Axemen. It's definitely going to do well against them. Uh, this Carly Axemen, even Lou, he's lost... 19 men. I still feel like that Sam Knight, if he got into it, would be able to do a decent amount of damage. But so far, this attack has just been really stalled out at the moment. Really stalled out. Uh, the Step Cav did come back inside for the Chimerian Cavalry, because I forgot exactly which one it was. 
Carmarian Cavalry did come back inside the settlement. Thessalian Cavalry just kind of still running around over there. Nabateen General still sitting way back there. And the Desert Heavy Lancers have not really moved forward at all. I mean, but there really has not been any avenues for them to go anywhere yet. So for them to not move forward kind of makes sense. But all right, here we go. Sam Knights have made their way inside the settlement. Taking on some regular Axemen there, but we do have Eastern Archers there. And then a Cartley coming in. Oh, God. Carly Axemen charging in there. But all right, we got more infantry coming in. Okay, hold on a second. We got some Illyrian Levies coming in. Nice cycle out there. Axemen going to pull away from that other unit. Another unit of Axemen going to cycle charge in there. 22 charge bonus for them. Not too bad. The Carly Axemen there with a 25 charge bonus. And we have more coming in. So we got a brawl going. Now we have a brawl. A fight for the walls, if you will. But the Noble Infantry now going to charge in onto these Illyrian Levies. We do also have some of the Nabataean Axe Warriors over here as well. But we just have a gigantic mosh pit on this side. Not really very much going on the other side here. Is that artillery still firing? Yes, he is. 48 kills so far. Not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, absolute brawl slaughterhouse going on right now in front of the settlement. In this front corner, I should say. Sam Knights, let's see what they're up to. Six kills for that unit. This unit here with 51. Got a lot of archer fire. Actually, Nabataeans, where? Oh, he only moved up one. I thought he moved up all four of them. I thought he had moved up all four archers together. Uh, that Step Lancer did come back inside. Still that other one over here somewhere, or did they move on? Last time I saw the other unit Step Lancers, they were right there. Right over here. Uh, but we still have that one unit there. What is this? Just a bunch of Lyrian levies, I think. Yeah, that's just levies out there. So I have not, oh, no, 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 never mind, that's Nabatea as well. Yeah, definitely want to get all of your archers up together. Try and outnumber their archers. Flood this wall. Just burn these guys down. I mean, maybe bring a couple of units of the archers over here to start trying to combat these uh, eastern archers and, and the Chimerian heavies. But yeah, these heavies are just ripping in. 26 kills there for that unit. Eastern archers there with 89 did have an archer unit over on this side. Don't know where they went. Here's an unit. Right. Nope, they haven't fired yet. Okay. How about these archers? What are they doing? 35, 26. So, I mean, some of them are starting to get some okay kills. But the Sam Knights... Oh, no. He pulled the Sam Knights out. Oh, they didn't lose that many. I mean, they, they did. They lost 37 men out of the unit. And I don't see the other one. What is this? A Royal Peltas coming in on a tower now. Going to climb down the staircase. It's going to neutralize the towers. So that's a good idea. That's a good thing. Keep moving. Keep moving. Second unit of Royal Peltas now going to make their way around. No. Looks like they're going to come this way. Nope. Pulling them back. Pulling them back. Okay. So he is going to uh, rethink that decision. And there is the other unit right there. Step Lancers. Okay. So they do still have both units of the Step Lancers are inside the settlement. Uh, the Ballista crew has been released here. 77 kills total for them. There we go. Nabateen Heavy Archers going to start firing. All right, good stuff. Another unit of Nabateen Heavy Archers getting really, 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 really close up to the wall, and they are getting burned out. Yep, they just got ripped apart. They don't look like... Oh, they didn't have any ammo left, so okay. Not bad. Not bad making the defenders waste some ammunition on a unit that didn't have any ammo. So good stuff there. That was definitely a good move. But the Archer Fire now really starting to pour in onto these Carly Axemen. Getting some good kills. Carly Axemen dropping down pretty quick. Down to 67 in that unit. This unit have regular Axemen with 83. And they are taking on Royal Peltas. So that is actually a pretty good sign. We actually have some Chimerian Archers that have just moved up onto the wall here. And they are 124 kills for them so far. And they are just blasting away into these Nabataean Heavy Archers. Oof. That is pretty rough. Dropping a man or two or three. 
every volley. That is pretty rough, but all right, here we go. We got some Armored Desert Hoplites now making their way inside the settlement. They are going to take on these Carly Axemen, but I see the Noble Spearman General right there. 24 charge bonus if he wanted to. Yep, here he comes. Is he coming? Yep, Frenzy Charge onto the back of this Desert Hoplite. Oof. Rough. Oh, no. We got javelins, too. Oh, God. Cartley Axeman tossing javelins. And these guys are not facing the right way. Is this Cartley going to move right up over here? I think this Cartley's trying to get shots right there onto the back of that. No. 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 Is he, oh, he's just going to charge in. Okay. Yep, just get in there. Just get in there. Keep up the fight. 217 with some Axeman right there. 185 with that Axeman unit. Some Chimerian Noble Infantry have moved over here and are just doing work on these Royal Peltas. I mean, Royal Peltas, 166 kills. Not too bad with that unit. This unit here, where's the other Royal Peltas? Oh, there's one. Uh, he just getting inside there. He's only got 10. Now we got the de Ooh, Desert Heavy Lancers. Oh, Cavalry's on the move. Cavalry is on the move. Desert, desert Heavy Lancers trying to go in one way, and we have Vesely and Cavalry making it the other way. We got a spear, Step Spearman getting into that square formation and coming through the breach like that. That is just going to be a rough time. Oh, Step Lancer's right there. Chimera Noble Infantry charging over here. Let's see how these guys... Are these guys having any better luck? They are. They actually just smashed into a unit of Eastern Archers. Keep going. I would go into the Archers. Get the Archers. Try and kill the Archers. And then rebound off. So get like one quick hit on them and then... Oh, never mind. The Nobles turned around. Dang it. Well, just kill the archers. <laughs> just kill the archers then. I mean, Thessalian, Heavy Shot Cavalry, doing pretty good. 110 kills, but they're about to get surrounded, I think. We got the Chimera Noble General coming in on one side. Another unit of the Chimera Nobles there. Third one defending the only way that this cavalry can get back out. Uh, Desert Heavy Lancers coming back in again. Looks like they're coming in for a second shot. Second chance, second shot here. Let's see how many kills they have. 12 kills. Yeah, they're just, they're, I mean, they're charging into a square infantry unit. And there's Noble Lancers right there. Another unit of the Step Lancers that are just sitting right there waiting. So it is very unfortunate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're still alive. They are still alive. That's the Cavalry. He's still on the move. I thought they were dead. I thought for sure they were dead, but he was able to pull them away. Get a nice charge in onto the back of the Carly Axeman there. But here comes the Noble Spearman General for Armenia making his way up. Taking on these horsemen. Yeah, there he goes. That's the Cav. 139 kills. Pretty okay amount of kills, but now, oh god, Cavalry's coming over here for the defenders now. Step Lancers, they're going to come out the gate. Oh no. Are they coming out of the gate? Yeah, they are. Step Lancers coming out the gate. And they got, Nav oh, they got Empress Archer sitting right there. Desert Pikemen making their way over here for Nabatea. Yeah, they got around. Oh, but no, no, no. The Royal Peltas General's right there. Okay, hold on. Royal Peltas General might be able to hold them off. Okay. So Blancher's going to pull back this way. Yeah, he's going to go right back between the two pikemen. Just get away, and he's going to come around over here now and get into the archers. Oh, that is so rough. So rough. Here comes the Nabatean General, though, but he's going to get over here too late. Unfortunately, he's going to get over here too late. I mean, but the Nabataean heavy art. Hold on, so the Nabataean heavy archers are not bad in melee. They're not bad in melee. I think their armor is actually yeah, 40 armor. Uh, their weapon damage is 35. I mean, they're okay. They're not bad. Yeah, they're. I mean, it's just medium shot cavalry. So Nabataean general getting over here, heavy melee. It's gonna finish him off, but the archer units definitely lost. Definitely lost some infantry out of them. I think he did. He, did one of them actually end up breaking completely? Doesn't look like they did, actually. Okay, so they're still around. They are still around. Uh, but, yeah, this this side of the attack looks like this side has been pretty much given up on. And the attackers are really just trying to focus on getting in on this side. But the defense seems to be rather strong here. Carly Axman, yeah, the Noble Spear Jet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got some more Desert Hoplites coming in. Armored Desert Hoplites coming in. Full unit. Coming in, still some Royal Peltas right there. Let's see what they're at. 112 kills. Charging in onto the General. Axeman now flanking the Armored Desert Hoplites. 
Here comes the Nabatine General. Oh, Royal Pope, not Nabatine General, the Empress General, sorry. He's coming in here. He's going to take on some of these noble infantry there. They are active, which means that they are the high at their highest peak of being able to uh, kill stuff and do good. <laughs> Once that hits tired, though, it's going to start being a bit of a problem. But right now, they are winning the fight. They're up by 10. Pretty strong fight. It's very... I mean, the gate is neutralized. It's unfortunate that the, the attackers didn't knock that gate down. Because I feel like if that Nabatine general was able to get in there, right about now, if he was able to get in there, he'd probably be able to cause some serious damage. He'd get a good charge in on there. He could probably rear charge this stuff as well. But that is unfortunate. Nabatia now just going to start throwing all of his axe warriors in here. Looks like they're just trying to blob up. Yeah, they're just throwing everything in. They are just throwing everything into that gate right there, or into that breach, I should say. They actually took over. Ooh, 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 ooh. They're winning the gate. They are starting to capture the gatehouse. Maybe what I just said is going to happen. It's possible. Maybe that general comes blasting on through the gate here. Two and a half minutes left. They are still capturing it. He's actually got the Thoreos coming down off of the wall. Going to maybe keep, think about keeping the general away. And actually, ooh, the noble general is losing. Noble Spearman General is losing, but never mind. Here comes the Chimera Noble Infantry. Gate is captured now, though. They can absolutely make use of this gate. Come right on through, boys. But, no, we got we got a lot of wavering. A lot of wavering from Nabatea. Epris units wavering here as well. And we're down to under two minutes left. I'm just going to fast forward here. Let's see what the uh, Epris General is doing over here. He's winded. Combat is even. Let's see, 126 to 132. The defenders recapturing the gate. Yep, they're re-neutralizing the gate here. Here comes the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's slow it down. We got cavalry coming out again. Step Lancers coming out of the gate. Or coming out of the breach, I should say. We actually have some Cartley Axemen that have come out as well. I think this is about to get wrapped up. Axemen coming this way, coming this way. We, have, we still have the Nabatean Noble Cavalry General right there. He could try and come over here and fight this guy. But I don't even know if he's going to move. Let's see. I'm going to follow the Step Lancers into those archers. Let's see. Is the Nabatean Cav Gen moving? Nope. He's not even going to move. So they're going to get into these Chimerian archers. Chimerian archers. The, uh, sorry. The Nabatean archers. Yeah, 40 seconds left. That's just going to wrap it up. So we're going to fast forward the rest of this out of here. See, look. Yeah, the, the Nabatean General is just charging over here. I wonder if he's going to try and maybe get some rear charges in just to get some kills. He's got 18 kills right now. Yep, he's going to go in for a charge. There you go. Get yourself some kills on some Carly Axeman. But it does look like the first battle here is going in favor of the Guerrilla Warfare team. That is Dare and Hyena. Let's take a look at the ending army compositions here. We'll start off with the attackers. Uh, taking a look at Dade 2330, commanding as Epris. 1,098 kills, 91 with his general. It's Thessalian, 139, not too bad. Uh, his archers just really didn't get a whole lot rolling. One of them, the Cretans there with 83. His other two units of Royal Peltas, 132, 172. Uh, his Sam Knights, 54, 52. Illyrian Levies just really didn't get a whole lot. Top unit there was 38. And his Thoreos, one unit there with 37. And then we have Wombat coming in with Nabatea at 934 kills total. 37 with his general archers, 93, 62. So some of them doing, getting some kills. Uh, then we have, let's see, the Desert Pikeman didn't really do very much. Armored Desert Hoplites, 112, 96. For, I mean, for Desert Hoplites on attack, that's pretty good. Uh, his Nabatean Axe Warriors top unit there was 32. Top unit for his Nabatean Swordsman, I thought it was going to be 69, giggity. Uh, but it is, in fact, here the 90. Then we'll get in with Dare playing as Chimera, 1654. 53 with his general, his cavalry, 104 and 81. He had a scorpion, didn't even get to use it. Uh, his Chimerian Heavy Archers, 109, 143, 193, 178. Getting in with his Noble Infantry. So he did bring 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 Chimerian Noble Infantry. Wow. Uh, 221, 200, 108, 216. Very well done there. And then we have Hyena with Armenia, 2,581 kills. My God. All right, let's see. 149 with his General. His Archers, 191, 142. Uh, his Axemen here, 226, 231, 107. Currently 237, 156, 230, 223, sorry, 139, 250, and 221. Wow. 
Carly Axman did uh, some murderous things in this battle today. But all right, guys, that is going to be the end of battle number one. I should be having battle number two come out when it is available for me to recover or to for me to cover. There we go. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the battle replay again. Like I said, the marketable skills discord link will be in the description below. I'll also toss his channel in there as well so you guys can get over there. Uh, I'm going to put his Twitch channel in there as I know he is way more active on Twitch than he is on YouTube. Um, also, hopefully you guys enjoyed the battle, so make sure to hit the like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around, and of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, but that is going to be the end, so have a good rest of your day, stay safe, and as always, until the next one.